bada boom, bada bang. We're going to be building a website using Flexbox. And the website that we're going for, and by the way, we're working out of the GitHub goes to 11 repo. Oh, this is my account, goes to 11 on GitHub. And uh, the repository is in here, HTML, CSS, Bootcamp. Make sure you favorite this, star it, so it moves to the top of my list so people find it more easily. And then also follow me on Twitter because uh, I'm building a website what I want to tell everybody about when it's done. It's going to be really awesome, so follow me on Twitter there. And here's the website, greatercommons.com. It's going to be a place that allows you to learn stuff and then quickly turn that into opportunities to make money, get a job. So work, getting trained, and then getting work. That's what the website's about. Sign up and check it out. It'll be live soon. All right, so uh, first thing we're going to do is build a website with Flexbox. And to do that, spring of 2017, 00 temp, this is the repo we're working in. Here we go, shut that door. And uh, we did uh, homework here, and then one of these homeworks was the surfer page. So there's the surfing dog. So I'm just going to open this up and show you what we're going to build. And that's what we want to build, something like that. And so we did this already just with divs and margin zero auto and display, changing it to uh, block. So we changed the image to block, and that got margin zero working. And just so we could see that CSS, you know, here is uh, the image, and we did display block. And that turned this on, right? Let us do margin zero auto. All right, because if it's an inline element, you can't, right, put it in the center of something. It's just inline. So that's the page we're building, and we're going to do it this time with Flexbox. And the resource that I always consult for Flexbox is uh, CSS Tricks Flexbox. And the first thing you need to know about Flexbox is that, you know, you have a Flex container, and then inside that container you have Flex items. And so let's just orientate ourselves with Flexbox a little bit. So I'm going to create a new directory here, and we'll call this 010 and uh, Flexbox. And then in the first one, we'll just kind of do uh, 0, 1, and uh, I don't know, intro, container, container, elements, okay? Container and elements. And then we'll create a page, and it'll be an index, and, uh, and then we'll create a page, and it'll be a main CSS. And then I like split vertically and get the CSS over on one side and your HTML on the other. And then we can link this and uh, link it to main. So our CSS is now linked to our HTML. And, uh, and now we're ready to start creating something. And so Flexbox is about containers and elements. And uh, let's say I had some text. And here's the text, h1 and welcome to paradise. All right? And so when I first look at this, that's what that looks like. Maybe I should say welcome to the jungle or welcome to paradise. What do you guys want to do? Either is cool. Uh, welcome to paradise. Welcome to paradise. There we go. And uh, if I wanted to center this, I could do body and display flex box. Display flex. Okay, so that now makes body a flex container. And anything that's an immediate direct child inside body becomes a flex item. So flex containers have flex items, all right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Flex containers have flex items. And, and, and we have some flex properties that we can set. And we can set properties on the container. So here's the container, the parent. And we can set properties for the children, the items. And so the properties for the container, display flex makes it a container. Okay, that makes a container. We could set flex direction. So we could, we could say it's row or column. We could also do row reverse or column reverse. Well, we're just going to stick with flex direction. So we'll do flex direction, and uh, we'll, make it a, uh, we'll make it a row. And once you have a flex direction, you also have a flex wrap. Whether or not items wrap if they overflow the line or they just all squish together on the line. So flex wrap, no wrap is the default. So we'll just go with that. Flex wrap, no wrap. So things won't wrap on the line. You can play with all these settings. And, uh, and if we didn't want to write flex direction and flex wrap, we could write flex flow. And we could say row, no wrap. 
because flex flow is a shorthand, and you see that right here, flex flow is shorthand for flex direction and flex wrap. So I said row, no wrap. You see that? I could have also done that one. And now once we've set you know, the flex direction, primary axis on that is going to be uh, horizontal because it's a row. And the reason I'm telling you that is because justify content operates on the primary axes. Okay. So my com comment there, justify content center, and I did uh, that kind of comment needs to be this kind of comment. There we go. I guess I should make that on a separate line. And let's get that out of there to keep it simple. So justify content works on the primary axes, which in this case is a row. And uh, cross axes is align items. So now I've just said, hey, inside this flex container, everything is happening in a row, and I want you to center everything along the primary axes, which is horizontal, and also along the vertical axes, which is, uh, you know, vertical, the cross axes, which is vertical. So do you understand? That's the basic concept of Flexbox. And now if I look at this, what changed? It came across the page. And uh, we can put a border on everything. Star border two picks solid red. And so we can see here's the HTML, that outer red box. The inner red box is body, and then this red box is the H1. And so we've centered Welcome to Paradise inside the body container. So body, we could do bot, uh, order two picks solid black. All right, so there's the body one. And so here's the H1. It got centered in between that. So let me just do this HTML. And then H1. Red, black, blue. So you kind of see where each element is and what it's doing. So now I could take my body, and I could also say my body, I want my body to be height 100 VH. So the viewport height, you have 100 of them. I'm making my body 100. And now you can see my body is 100 VH. But I got a little scroll bar over there. And the reason I have a scroll bar is because the browser by default is putting a little padding or margin between the HTML and the body element. So I could do a little reset up at the top, HTML, body, and I want mar uh, content and then padding, zero, and then border, zero, and uh, then margin, zero. But I'm setting these borders down here, so that doesn't matter. And I still have a little scroll, so what could I put on that to get rid of that scroll? How would I fix that? There's a great quiz question. How would I get rid? I took away the padding and the, and the margin, but I still have some scroll. Why? And I'll tell you, it's four pixels. It's eight pixels of scroll. That was eight pixels of scroll right there. Why is that eight pixels? Because HTML has a two-pixel border, and a body has a two-pixel border. So there's 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So what setting do I do which when I increase the size of padding or border, it doesn't expand outward, but it pushes content inward? Box. box size and board box. I totally thought that was going to fix it. And uh, 
HTML body box sizing border box. Let me try. I don't. This is like voodoo level now. No. Let's try H1 too. Try everybody. Ah, yeah, because that made, I don't know, maybe. Let's see. Star, let's just put box sizing border box on everybody. HTML height. Yeah, that got rid of it. And then this one, though, do we need that down here then too? Yeah, so I think the way to do it is to not have the borders. All right, if I got rid of these borders, now it'll be perfect. All right, no more scroll bar. But I don't quite understand why I wasn't able to get rid of that box size and border box. The, it sets it to the size it's created, but the body itself Oh, I didn't. Side. Yeah, right. I didn't but set. Then the HTML also gets a border to that. Yeah. And it's got to hold the body of the body. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Two layer. And then you're right. Layer. You're right. You're right. All right. So, uh, so that's cool. And then I could just do on here background. And with background, I don't like shorthand notation. I like to see everything I'm setting. Background URL, and I need a picture, so I'm just going to go paradise. And we've seen this one before. And uh, images, and then I could tools and usage rights labeled for reuse. And uh, let's find something new. That looks pretty paradisical, but it's really small. No, it's not. It's big. U image. That's massive. It looks like there's a little boat down there. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Save image. Paradise. Documents. HTML. 00, zero temp. Spring. Flexbox. 01. Save. And uh, here it's paradise.jpg. And then. background dash image position let's center it and background uh, what do we have so far we have uh, image and position color repeat no repeat and background position repeat image color size attachment blend mode clip origin position X position Y and then we have vendor prefixes are back at the top so position, repeat, image, color, size, color size, auto, contain, cover, length, percentage. I'll say cover, background size. Let's see what that looks like. Somebody's saying that's paradise right there. Welcome to paradise. And uh, we could take our H1 and we could do color white and we could do font size uh, 80 pixels and we could get rid of that border so that's a little introduction to flexbox and flex containers and we'll explore this in the next video we'll see some more of it why don't we take this and you guys are getting to know flexbox and let's rebuild this page okay and I know we've already seen this once before well, let's do it again. Yeah, you can do. Yeah. You could probably find a package for Sublime, like look look in package management, or whatever in Sublime and. Strangely, the version on the Windows version is less updated than the Mac one was. Yeah. And even those, they're still both on Sublime. Uh...